following show is scary, but you trying to copy us is even more scary. Don't do it. This is where friends scare the crap out of their friends and we put it on tape. What a great concept. Aaron is about to freak out and his friend Dustin can't wait to watch. I think he's gonna almost piss his pants. I'm gonna put Aaron in the most ridiculous situation he's ever been in in his life, probably. Aaron agreed to help clean up an abandoned apartment. The former resident took off and left everything behind. You know, clothes, furniture, body parts. I need you guys to clean up the apartment. The guy took off on me. Been here two years, never had a problem. A month or so ago, his uh, brother shows up, causing a lot of trouble. I got noise complaints from the neighbor. The cops are here every other night. It's, it's been a mess. Just got up and bailed? Got, yeah, bailed. It happens. I got to go uh, wait for the locksmith. All righty. Take care, guys. God, they must have left in a hurry, dude. All righty. Let's start with the back room, I guess. Whoa. Somebody's got a temper problem. <laughs> Holy s***. All right. Maybe now we know why they left. Yeah. I mean, you got some weird-ass people in here. I wonder what this thing is. What the f***, dude? What's that say? I am not my brother's. Uh, someone a little bit into horror movies or some s***, man? What the f*** does that sh say, dude? It's He's just coming. like the same thing. It's weirding me out. <laughs> Are we supposed to clean this sh up? I think we should just check and see what's in the boxes, we make our inventory, and then we start doing our cleaning. That's all there is to it. Hey, uh, back to that temper problem. What the f See, someone needs to stop smoking speed and getting pissed, man. It's like a hole in the wall. Yo, dude, we got blood. Is this blood, man? What? Oh, dude. Oh, God, what the f is that? Oh, my God. I Yo, dude. All right, all right. F that, dude. F that, man. Hey, see, I'll clean up walls. I ain't f picking shit out of a wall, man. What the f is that, dude? Hey. Yeah. What's up? What are you guys doing here? Man, I'm just cleaning an apartment, man, just trying to make some money, dude. I'm just doing my fucking job. You live here? This is my place. Man, you cool? What did you guys see? Well, you're not your brother's keeper, man, fucking, but I mean, how long have you been here? Uh, I, I just walked in the door, man. I just got here. I didn't see shit. Nothing. Except for the f Except for the what? Nothing, dude. Nothing. I, I gotta think for a minute. Yeah, that makes two of us, bro. All right. Okay. We're cool. What the hell? You wanna fucking knock him out? That guy is huge. I don't wanna get in a fight with him. That's a good point. I gotta think. I gotta think about this. Yeah, I gotta think about this. nervous, man. Okay. You stay here. You come with me. All it's right. All right. It's all right. Your friend had to leave. Do you have a brother? Yeah. Does he talk down to you? He sometimes. Have you ever wanted to take care of him? No, dude, I don't ever feel like taking care of people like that. Are you scared? 
Oh, f***ing just a little bit, man. I just want... You shouldn't be scared. Why not? Because you're on scare tactics, man. Oh, f*** you guys. Take a deep breath, man. You're gonna be fine. It's a TV it's show? It's a TV show. I don't do that to people like me, man. I'm easily freaked out. Your buddy set you up, man. I'm gonna whoop that f***ing ass. Oh, you son of a bitch, dude. What the f*** are you doing? Man, up, man, how would I have looked if I pissed all over myself? Well, the scariest part is when your ass walked in, because, you know, I'm thinking, you know, whoever lived here bailed and shit, you know? And then I'm like, oh, okay, not his brother's keeper, because his brother's in the f***ing wall. Well, then I'm like, oh, God, this guy's got to get help. You know what I mean? What the f*** is this guy's problem? Can you drink water? Yes. Wait, this is real water, right? This isn't like round two, is it? <laughs> Jack was looking for something new to do on a Saturday night. The thing is, his buddy Chris was looking for a way to scare the hell out of him. Even if he does get scared, and like after the whole thing is over, he can really say he had fun, because I know he loves this type of stuff. So we sent them on a mission to do some odd jobs, but they wound up on the property of a psychotic cult leader. Hello? Hi. Uh, sorry to bother you. Uh, my car just broke down there on the road. And I think I need some water for my radiator. Um, okay. Can you just lock the gate? Thank you. <laughs> Hi. You guys are pretty remote out here, huh? Yeah, it's pretty quiet. We like it a lot out here. What's going on? Um, these boys needed some help. Their car uh, broke down. Nice to meet you. Did it look like we wanted you to come in here? We can leave if you want us to. Jesse, come here. Damn it! Keep an eye on them! Cover them! Come out! This is a sovereign state! You have no authority here! When the mothership arrives, you will all perish in flames, you bastards! Come out! We're attacking you by force! Hostage. <laughs> sure you are. Now what are your demands? Uh, you may want to be talking to one of the guys holding the guns. Hang it up! Hang it up now! Hang <laughs> up! You have five minutes to come out. We're taking you by force. Are you guys in on this right now? Tell me right now. No, no. I swear! So you just rolled up in here right when the ATF gets here, huh? I got called by him, they go move furniture! We have the compound surrounded. 
This is definitely not how I want to spend my Saturday night. How the hell are we going to get out of this now, huh? I vote for surrendering. <laughs> are you scared or something? Uh, slightly. I don't like semi-automatic weapons going around off on me. Well, you shouldn't be scared. Why? Your own scare tactics. <laughs> what do you think was going on, bro? I had no idea. <laughs> I see Grizzly Adams coming out. I see sharp objects on the wall. I saw you reach for the gun cabinet. I thought Waco. <laughs> I hate you all. How's your heart pounding? Yeah, just slightly, and I worked in two haunted houses. What the hell? <laughs> 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 I hate you! Man, you gotta at least hit me when I'm looking. Come on. There you saw! Julie is the kind of person who is up for anything. So her friend Louie cooked up a little road trip. Me and Julie have been playing practical jokes on each other since day one. She got me really good. She got us, she got me and my girlfriend in a big, big argument one time, and I always told her from that day forward I'd get her back, and I plan on getting her back tonight. Now there are three things to remember before you leave on a road trip. Get a full tank of gas, bring plenty of snacks, and don't piss off the hitchhiker. What's going on, man? What's been going down? Not too much. Do you have any problem finding the place? No, we're good. We go to football games out here all the time. Hey, look, it's that creepy guy who's always walking around down here. Ooh. What? Pick him up? No. Yeah. Don't play do it, around. Do it, do it, do it. Don't, seriously. Seriously, he's gonna he's gonna open up. I don't know what it is. Stop! That freaked me out. That's my that was awesome. Up. That's awesome. <laughs> I was like, the door I locked him, like, don't open it, don't open it. I've seen that guy out here before. He's crazy. Yeah, he looks insane. Isn't it right here with the orange? Uh-huh. I still kind of have the chills from that dude. <laughs> I'm getting the chills just walking in this field. It's crazy, man. What drugs, yeah. what drugs is he on right now? He's swatting at flies and stuff that aren't there. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, my God. Is that him? Go, dude, go, go, go. Go, 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 go! Dude, what the hell? Go, go, go! Go, go! go. go. Same girl. Oh, my God. That looked just like him. That's dude, the same dude. What the hell? I'm creeped out. That right was now. totally him, wasn't it? Yes. Dude. What the, f what the hell? Dude, Lock we all the doors right now. No, hey. no that was Lock the doors. Dude. I can't tell if this is locked or not. This isn't my car, like. Damn it. What's going on? My car just died. Shut oh, up, oh dude. My God. Just get the car started, and don't worry about it. I can't get it started. Damn it. Travis! I'm not playing around. It's dead. I don't think he keeps walking this direction. I'm going to pop the hood. You try to start it. Okay. Get in the driver's seat. Try and start it for him. I should run out the door. Turn it over. This is taking forever. Do you think it's funny? Start it, start it, start the car. How do you think this is funny, huh? It's not funny now, is it? Huh? Talk to me! I don't think it's funny. It's not funny anymore, is it, huh? No. Are you scared? You shouldn't be. You're on scare tactics. Your friend Louie set you up. <laughs> oh my god. Are you scared? Give, give her a hug. I'm trying. Let <laughs> go of my arm. <laughs> I'm not really that crazy. Look, it's a TV show. It's a TV show. <laughs> so many on TV. <laughs> this kid is in trouble right now. <laughs> I'm gonna have nightmares for like ever now. <laughs> 
some point, we all fall victim to a get-rich-quick scheme. Elias is no exception. His buddy Mike had just the right connections to get him some quick cash. Elias has always been the cockiest guy I know. He always shows up thinking he's the shit and he's all that, so I thought I'd get him good. But the cash is stolen, and it belongs to a Russian mobster. Yeah, go ahead, sit, sit back here, man. I'll have you just do some, some quick things. It won't be so much work. Yeah. Um, uh, we'll just have you uh, maybe answer the telephone, and uh, maybe I send you for courier work. Yeah. Yeah, easy. Hello? Yes, I want to talk to Sergei, please. Mm -hmm. Da. This is Carl. What happened to Ulrich? Ulrich took the night off. We made an agreement. Okay. Uh, all right. There'll be a car pull up. Just take the case out to them. They, they, sh they should, they say they honk. Okay, we got it, let's move. Sorry, thanks, the case? Yeah, yeah, I think it's heavy. <laughs> hey, this is for you. What? This is, um, that's how things are here. If you do a good <laughs> job for me, you, you will be a happy man, I right? Got <laughs> I love it here, dude. Yeah, it's all right, yeah. Money? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Thank you, you're a good man. Oh, yeah, you're a good man, yeah. <laughs> FBI down on the ground and federal agents, federal agents on the ground, on the ground right now. Get back here now. Get back get here. Get back now. here and get on your knees, right there. On your knees. On your knees. Stay right there. You you're coming with me. Let's go. What would you say? Be smart. Get up. What's up? There's an office on the right here. Walk back. Walk inside the office. Empty your pockets. Can, can, can I get some water, please? Please. Sorry. This bill is a marked bill. It was used in a drug sting two weeks ago. Now, how do you happen to have it on you? Can, can I explain? I don't, I don't want. I don't want to point the dude. The dude, Boris, dude. Yeah. Boris, uh, he he. When I gave you the thing, he said I did a good job. And he gave me a handshake, you know. Then he said, "Here, give you this money." And I was happy. It's tax free. I mean, not tax. I'm, I, I pay my taxes. You know, taxes are due. So, but you recognize me, don't you? So I gave you the the the, the, the I gave you the, the, the stuff. Remember? And, and I the, remember. Yeah. You gave it to me. I don't. I don't know. What was it? Guns or something? You delivered $500,000 worth of drugs to me in that car outside. Five, $500,000? $500,000. You like photography? OK. OK. These can be enhanced in a photo lab to clearly make you out, OK? This is just the photos that we took, okay? I mean, you have a lot on me, but I, I, I mean, um, do I need like a lawyer or something? Cause I can't be just talking. You know, they say you don't talk, cause you could get, you can give me the, you know, I can't. I don't. You, they can get you to co confess. You know, I plead the fifth. You know. I've got two options here. One, I can take you to jail tonight, where kids like you will not make it. Okay, I can't spend the rest of my life in jail. Oh my God. I'm not tough enough, you know? The guys are tough, they work out and stuff. I'm just not tough enough for that. But two, now listen to me, this is an important one. You can be on scare tactics. <laughs> are you... Your friend Mike set you up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Oh, I thought I swear to God, I thought I was going to the big house. I, oh my God. Were you scared? I was like, I'm about to like, almost peed on myself. Mom, mom, come home, I ain't going to jail. You can't take me to jail. 
That's so fed up, dude. Hey. What the f hey, 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 Take me home. You gonna get him back now? I don't know. No, it's tough. Now I can't talk. I'm scared to yeah, have Sure, Elias committed a crime, denied it, and accepted a bribe, but at least he pays his taxes. All right, well, that's all for now, but remember. God. Yo, what the f is that? I called my hand, then go move furniture. Ah! Yeah, show me your hands. Get your hands. You could be next.